here are my seed bins. These aren't seeds I collected. These are seeds from Cotswold Seed. So they're different mixes. Like this has a whole series of different cref, uh, um, clovers, some bird's foot trefoil, sandfoil, sweet clover, lucerne, chicory, parsley, forage. Then this one has um, uh, varieties of rye grasses and more different clovers. And then this one over here, I think this one has salad burnet. Yeah, there. Uh, that's a lucerne seed right there. And then salad burnet are the round ones. So the big round seeds. So these are um, three different containers of seeds. And I keep them dry in these bins. And if you look, the bins are up on buckets, upside down buckets. And that's to keep the rats from them because rats and mice and voles love clover seeds. It's like um, sweet candy to them. So um, yeah, and this is the potting shed. These are all my plastic containers that I uh, reuse a lot in here. So this is the potting shed. And this is where I've got my seeds, which I'm now going to spread in an area that needs some variety. So I'll show you where I'm gonna go. All the gates. This one here, and the one down on the road. Here's my seed bucket. That's got lots of, a whole variety of different herbs and legumes and grasses. There's a mixture of several different ryes, orchard fog, uh, timothy, all these different things are in here. Salad burnet. So some of these seeds are really, really beautiful. This is the sandfoin. It's a really, really beautiful seed. So that would be the sandfoin seed. And let's see if I can find a salad burnet. That's the other one. I think that's a salad. Yep, that's a salad burnet. It's got a funny kind of shape to it. So that's a salad burnet. And then a lot of the teeny, teeny, tiny ones, those tiny round ones are clovers. Inca, what are you excited about? Oh, there's a piece of manure, so I say there's a dung beetle underneath. Anyway, I've closed the gates down at the bottom, and I'm going to let the horses out. Come on. Come on. There we go. Now, they're gonna graze the long acre. Ah, ah, Inca, leave it. They're gonna graze the long acre. My, hey, 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 hey. Good girl, Maya. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah. And you're a good girl, too. So the horses are trotting down the long acre. But this area here is where this third of a bucket of seeds is going. So I've mob grazed the horses one, two, three, four, five times. So this was one day, just over that electric fence there was a second day. And beyond that, at the bottom third, I did on a third day. This was yesterday. And then this area, which is slightly longer here, you can see the line that, uh, there was an electric fence across here. So this was today they were grazing. And you can see tomorrow is gonna to be that area right there. Now I'm gonna spread these seeds all in this area because there, there are, there is yarrow, there is clover, there is uh, several different kinds of grasses um, there's buttercups, there's some dandelions, there's some plantain right there. But in this area also, there's areas where it has a bit of moss in it. And basically, you can't, there you can kind of see there's moss in between there. There's some moss. Uh, and, oh, here's some moss, there's some moss. 
So the moss is also a sign that if you lime it, your pH will improve. But if you re-sow it with a multi-species sward, it will rebalance the soil, as well as you can see all the horses manure will rebalance the soil as well. So I'm going to sow this little section of the field. You see there's a larch tree there, a larch tree there, the electric pole there, and sorry, telephone pole there, and the lime tree there. So this whole area here, I am going to sow with those seeds. Because at the moment it's perfect. It's damp weather with interspersed sun. You can see the sun is right there. And there's the wind is coming from that direction. And so there's going to be rain later today. So it's a perfect germination weather for the next week. And so the horses will have mobbed graze that tomorrow, that on Tuesday, and then they'll have moved over. And so then these seeds will have a chance to germinate because I'm getting the horses to graze really close to the ground. So you can see there's not much height and it gives the grass a real chance, or the, sorry, not the grass, all those different seeds a chance to germinate and take root and take flight in growth. So you can see the dogs are all loving. This is, Maya has taken up her mother's preoccupation of digging for dung beetles. She loves digging, don't you? What's in there? There's nothing in there but roots and potentially grubs. So I don't have many left. I've broadcast most of them. And essentially, I do it by hand. I don't have a machine. So I essentially just broadcast like that. So they end up, some of them, getting into the coats of the dogs. So I've got to dust your coat down, get rid of all the seeds that are in your coach, which is what, another way that the seeds all spread. So that's a little bit more. And then some people just love rolling around. What are you rolling around in? Is it something nasty? Is it some fox pee or poo or something? So, so it's just raining down seeds. Yes, a lot of these seeds will be eaten by birds and mice and voles and shrews. But a heck of a lot more of them will be, will, will kind of grow and feed everything. So that's the last bit. There, so the bucket's empty. And this whole section is now sown. And hopefully a lot of it will take over the next week or so. And you can see there's still a few thistles about. I'll come back again. You can see the horses here have been eating the ones that are in bloom. There's one was in bloom there, one was in bloom there. So that's a good thing about horses. You can see here these blooms. These were all eaten by the horses. This one wasn't. So that's about to go to seed. So I'm gonna have to come in and take these out. And here again, the horse has eaten the thistle blooms. You can see they've eaten them all. And then this one was down too deep. So that one's going to seed soon. So, everything works together. The horses are enjoying the long acre up at the top there. Munching, munching, munching. <laughs>